so the Dollar Tree near me finally put out all their Halloween stuff. I already have a budget set, so hopefully I will not go over that, but I know there's gonna be a ton of cool stuff and I am so excited. So let's go head over the Dollar Tree and check it out. Okay, so first off, I got these cute little things to stake in my yard. Make a nice spooky little fence around my garden. So these are awesome. I got some of these. So of course I had to get some cute little tombstones. I got a few different ones that I'm going to be putting around the yard. I mean, they're only a dollar. I just have to stake them down. I could probably even bend a coat hanger and use that to like stick them in the ground pretty well. So next up I got this little guy. His jaw even moves. So I figure I can just put him up on a shelf or something. Next up I was really excited that I saw that these have come back to the Dollar Tree because I see these all the time in other stores for like $10 and up for a really pretty bottle with a nice little cork in it. And um, a dollar. I didn't have an orange one, so uh, that had to happen. So next up, hopefully I don't end up getting a divorce over this one, but my husband is terrified of spiders, and I thought this could be fun to play a nice little practical joke on him. I'm sure he will greatly appreciate it and love finding one of these tucked under his pillow. Next up, I don't know if you can tell very well because the wrapping is like really reflecting badly. But I got some of these little glow-in-the-dark rats. I think those will be fun to play with and, you know, more fun pranks. You gotta prank people for Halloween, right? Like, that's a thing, right? Next up, I found another awesome, cute little bottle with a cork. I do tend to collect weird bottles. I don't know why, I just love them. So I got another interesting little bottle that I found. Then next up, of course, I got some fun little ghosties that I figure I can hang from my tree. These are actually 
These are actually pretty long, so I think those are gonna look really awesome hanging from my tree. Then of course I had to had to get some cute little window stickers for my daughter because she absolutely loves all things stickers and these are just the little window decals so they won't stick permanently so she can rearrange them every day if she wants and have a blast. Then I got a fun little glow in the dark hand. I figure I would attach this by one of the tombstones. So then it would look like somebody was coming back from the grave. And of course, you can't have Halloween without buying a bunch of spiderweb stuff to put around. I'm gonna cover my bushes and probably part of my porch because you can't have enough spiderwebs everywhere. Next up, I got this nice creepy little bird whose jaw also moves up and down. So that's pretty awesome. Figure this will be nice and creepy hanging out on my front porch. Or maybe I might even see if I can attach it to one of the branches of my tree. Just really give some, uh, some creepy factor to my yard. Then I got another one very similar, but it's a bat. This would be another one that would be really cool to attach to my tree, just sort of like hanging from my tree, hanging down, upside down from the tree. And I got this cute little card, which the glare on it is terrible, but I got this cute little card for my daughter. I figured she would really get a kick out of it. She loves cards. And it was only a dollar and it's super cute. It's got all these little things on it. Then of course I buy a couple of these every year, but somehow they always disappear, but just a little light up pumpkin so that she has a little pumpkin torch to carry around while trick or treating. And let's be real, so she can run around the house and play with her spooky little pumpkin flashlight. Then I did buy a few non-Halloween items for a DIY tutorial that I'm going to be doing coming up soon that I think is going to be a lot of fun and is going to be super creepy. I know, how is this cute little teddy bear going to be creepy? Oh, subscribe to my channel and maybe you'll find out. Yeah, I got this teddy bear. I got some white cloth and this creepy doll and this cute little doll and a couple of picture frames and I'm gonna be having a fun little DIY tutorial that is definitely perfect for Halloween coming up soon so keep your eye out for that video. Okay so that's all I really got for you guys today as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.